Hello and welcome back to another exciting Power Automate tutorial. You receive a lot of emails with attachments and you want to download attachments from each email. Well, today we will work through a Power Automate flow which will automatically download every attachment from a new email received. Save it in a new folder for every day and maintain an Excel table with useful data for record keeping on an ongoing basis. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Right, so I'm going to navigate to Power Automate page. Website is very simple, make.powerautomate.com. For this flow, we will need three connections. You will need Outlook, OneDrive for storing the attachment files and Excel online to maintain a running Excel file of all the attachments you are going to receive. Luckily, all three are available free in Power Automate, at least for now. Once your home page logs in, you will see a few options here. So you have Form, Create, Templates, Learn, My Flows, and a few more. If you want to look at some of the templates, you can click on Templates. For now, we are going to click on Create because we want to create from scratch. Here you have different options. So you have Automated Cloud Flow, Instant Cloud Flow, Schedule, Desktop, and Process Mining. We are right now interested in automated cloud flow because we want the flow to be triggered by a designated event. The event in our case will be whenever a new email is received. So click on automated cloud flow. So it gives some information that you can free yourself from repetitive work, etc. And it also gives you some examples of what cloud flows could be. On the right side, it will ask you for a flow name. So let's give it a name. So it's saying choose your flows trigger. Our trigger is a new email being received. Type email and it will show you all the searches that are related to email. And you can see you have the option here when a new email arrives, V2. There's another one that is down here when a new email arrives, V3, but this is for Office 365 Outlook. So if you have 365 Outlook paid, then click this one. Otherwise, just use this one, which is for regular Outlook. Click on create. All right, so if you do not have the connection on the backend, this will ask you to log in into your Outlook account. Since I already have the connection set up, it is already showing up as Outlook.com. And if I click on folder, it's going to show me the folder structure as well, which will confirm that it has picked the correct email ID and the connection is successful. So let's now open Outlook.com and make sure we have these folders in our Outlook email, just to make sure that it has picked the correct Outlook ID. All right, so you can see the folders. You have banking, P auto, and there are a few more. And you can see the folders here as well. So you have banking inside of inbox and P auto at the main root directory. You can now either select a specific folder or if you want to monitor all of the emails, just click on inbox and it will go through all the emails that you receive. Click on show advanced options. If you want to only review emails from a specific person, you can add the email ID in two section. Or if you want to have any specific subject filter, you can add it here. Make sure to select include attachments as yes and only with attachments as yes. We don't want to look through the emails where there's no attachment because the whole purpose of the flow is to download the attachments. Click on new step. The next step you want is create a OneDrive connection where we will save the attachment. So type OneDrive and here again, you will see two options, OneDrive for business and simple OneDrive. So we will just select simple OneDrive. If you have a business one, you can just select that one. And what we want is the first one that is create file. Click on it, All right? So it will ask you for a folder path. Keep in mind that this is now connected to your OneDrive. So let me open up OneDrive. And you can see I don't have a lot of files or folders in my main directory. I have this folder here. I think this was auto created by OneDrive. So you can see this folder is visible here as well. So this means that we have picked the correct connection. And again, if you are not already logged in, it will ask you to create a connection. You can just type in your ID and password outlook and it will create the connection right so we don't want to select any specific folder so you can just select root directory click on root and the file name it could be anything you can add the attachment name so for that scroll a bit down and you will see should have here attachments name you can see it has automatically converted into apply to each because each email could have more than one attachment it will have to loop through each attachment and then add a create file task Right, so back at this again. So file content will be the file content or attachments content. As you can see, you can only see one dynamic content, which is attachments content. Click on it and click on save. Great. So far, so good. What we are going to do right now is going to test our flow. So I'm just going to open throat on email and send myself an email with an attachment. I just want to see if our flow is working. All right, so it says your flow is ready to go. Just jump back out of it. And here it will show you a summary page of the flow. 
right? So log into your Proton account. It could be any other account, but I'm using this for testing purposes. Great. So I'm just gonna go on send items and I already sent few invoices here. So I'm just gonna forward my email. Already has an attachment in there. If I click on attachment, this is the attachment, sample invoice. Go back and just forward this email to my email. I'm just gonna take the email ID from here. I already have the attachment here. And let's click on send and delete older invoices. And this should receive a new email. And as soon as the email is done, the flow should work as well. And once the flow is run, you will see its history here as 28 day run history. All right, so let's look at, look at the email. And our email has been received. Now this should run fairly quickly as well. Let's just click on refresh. It usually runs fairly quickly. So let's refresh again. Four seconds ago, duration, and it also says status as succeeded. So let's go to our OneDrive and refresh this one as well. It's, it should save the file. That was UPS invoice 600, which we sent here. And if you look at the email, we should have this attachment here as well, UPS invoice 600. And it says less than a minute ago. Wait, so we were able to download that attachment from the email. All right, so let's go back to our next step. Let's connect an Excel file with it. Before we do that, I'm just going to create an empty Excel file. So click on create or upload in your OneDrive. Click on Excel document. Let's give it a good name. Let's hope we can change the name from here. Okay, we can. So let's call it attachments Excel. All right, so what we are going to do now is to create three columns. You can create more columns if you need. So for now, we just need to see from or who the sender is. We want to see the subject. We want to see the file name. And let's add fourth column as well, which is date time received. Or just date time email received. And we just want to track when the email is being received. Okay, let's convert this into a table format, which is always easier to work with. So click on insert table. Our table has headers, yes. So click on this, my table has headers. Click on okay. And this creates a new table. Let's just rename our table as well. So call it attachments underscore DBL. It is short for table. Great. Now go back to our, our automate window. Click on edit. We want to continue to edit our flow and want to add a new step. So click on new step, add Excel in here as search bar. And again, it will show you Excel online and Excel online OneDrive. Use the option that fits you the most. For now, we're just going to select Excel Online OneDrive and it shows you all the options that are available. The option we are interested in is add a row into a table because we want to add a new row. So we select that. Again, it will get the connection automatically. Your Excel Online is not set up or OneDrive is not set up. It will ask you for the setup. You can just again enter the ID and password and it should continue to work. All right, so we have two requirements it says file so click on this folder icon it will search through the onedrive so the file we created was attachments underscore excel click on it and now it's going to ask you for the table name so table name was attachments underscore tbl click on it now select show advanced options and you can see these four columns are now available which we added in this sheet so from subject file name and the last one was date time email received great so now we can just select from dynamic content. So from, we will put in just from, from here where it says mailbox owner and sender of the message. Subject again, it has the same name. So let's just click on subject. File name, this is the name of the file. So we want to look for attachments name. And date time received, we will use a simple expression. So click on expression. And here we will use format date time and UTC now which picks up the current date time. You can also add settings for your own location as well. We are just going to skip that for now. And here we are just going to use the format, which is in single quotes, capital M, T, D, and four Y's. Right, click on OK, and click on Save, and let's test our flow again. So let's jump back out of it. Let's just forward another email. I'm just going to use this older email, Walmart South Invoice. Click on Forward. Again, I'm just going to copy and paste my email ID from here. The attachment I have, I am just going to show you. So this is the attachment. It's just another dummy invoice. Cross this out. Click on send. Let's wait for the email to be received. Should be here any moment. We got the email with the attachment we sent. Right. Now let's head over to our automate and let's click on refresh. 
and we should see another one here shortly and once that is done we will go and look at our online excel to see if that has been updated or not great says ran successfully seven seconds ago duration three seconds and status is succeeded so let's look at the attachment if it's saved great the attachment was saved successfully click on our excel file and wow you can see that excel file has been updated with the information from the email great all right so what we can do next is we can just edit this so each time an invoice or excel attachment is received it will create a folder for that specific day and save all those attachments in that folder so let's go back and if we want to update is this one OneDrive. so the folder path is what we want to update so within the root directory we can just use this utc now simple let's just copy and paste from here what this will do is it will create the folder for that location if it's not available and if it's already there then it will just save those files in that same folder so click on press and paste it click on ok and this should now create a folder and save all the attachments for that day inside this folder let's click on save and we are going to send two different attachments or two different emails we just want to make sure that the both email attachments should go in the same folder instead of it creating new folders for each attachment so i'm going to draft two new emails and send it to myself let me show you the attachment simple one great let's send it and let's set another one open another email let me show you the attachment once it's done okay this is the attachment click on send now we have sent two emails we should receive both emails here shortly we're just going to give it a second for power automate to run and see if our folders have been created and the files have been moved inside the folders within today's folder we should have two different attachments in there all right so our invoices have been received two emails go back to power automate click on refresh and let's just wait for the third one as well fourth one as well so once that is done we will go to onedrive and check what's going on right so two new flows ran and both ran successfully so now let's go to onedrive we should have one new folder and two attachments should be within it right you can see this is working fine two attachments have moved inside of the new folder so any attachments that received during the day will move inside of this folder and for next day it will get a new folder and all the attachments will go there and so on and so forth right so so what it will do is it will organize one folder for one day and all the attachments will go in that folder and you can see the excel file continues to be updated as well with the relevant information you can use this for further processing or whatever your needs are right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the content and learned something new if you have any specific ideas or videos you want me to work on please let me know in the comment section till next time happy learning